Okay, we're at the whoops, Vista Cedar Glade State Natural Area. Um, been here, came out here, I don't know, a year or so ago, maybe two years ago. And I wanted to end the year outdoors for you guys anyway. Um, we're going to make it a a little different track than what we did the first time. First time we did the whole thing. This time we're going to do half. Um, just want to go over 2019 with you guys. That's what I want to do. That's my main thing. 2019 was a good year for our mid-10. Um, we did a lot. Got Chloe in her first uh, cold weather camping trip. Uh, we enjoyed that. Did a lot of traveling this year. Plan on doing a lot more next year. <clears throat> we will have a. Um, we're looking at doing a overland trip at some point. Um, probably going to go out towards uh, Cherokee National Forest, which is a. It'll probably be a three or four day adventure we take. We'll camp the whole time. Uh, probably do that towards the later part of the spring. But uh, we had a good year. Had a really good year. A lot of new faces on the channel. Uh, following the channel. Appreciate all of you that are on here now. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, that like, and please share it. Um, this day and age, we need all the help we can get on YouTube. But I, you don't hear me complaining much about the new things that they do on YouTube and change things. We just play with it how we got to do it. So right now I'm going to get a well, little... Um, Get some uh, travel in and we'll come back. Um, I haven't, I don't remember what time of the year it was I came out here. It may have been spring. So it's a little different in the fall than what it was in the spring. So, anyway. Okay, here's the trail juncture. Now the way we'll come back is from that way. We can go that way, we've been that way, and we've been this way, and this is the way we're gonna go, which is down that way. So, like I said, if I'm not mistaken, if I'm trying to remember everything, it was pretty muddy when we went that way in the spring. We've had a lot of rain here recently, so we're gonna avoid that. I mean, I like to test out my new boots, but I don't feel like testing them out that much. So we're just going to stroll down to here and go this way. But that's what we're going to do. Sorry I didn't get another camping trip in before the winter hit. Of course it's 70 degrees today. 28th of December and it's 70 degrees. But uh, we will get some camping in coming year trust me I want to get it in just as much as y'all want to see it but uh, I'm gonna put this down for now I'll walk down this path who knows I may come across a cool picture for you or two all right back in a little bit like I said it's an unusually warm day here in middle Tennessee if you wonder how warm it is yep I got them in shorts. It's 70 degrees when I got out of the truck. <sighs> but it's okay. It's supposed to turn cold next week. <laughs> Go figure. 
you get a lot of this on this trail um, basically open rock flats okay so this is where the trail meets up with the other trail the main trail loop I'll say it here in a minute so if I'd gone the original way I would have come up through here and then shot out that way well that's the way we're going to go now we're going to shoot this way like I said just cut it in half but wow what uh what was one of your finest adventures this year of 2019 um leave it down in the bottom for everybody to see i don't know it's hard to pick i always love going camping with my daughter it's a lot of fun it's interesting um and then our trip to windrock this year was pretty cool too um drove all over that place and got into predicaments nothing we couldn't get out of so that's probably two of my top trips this year was Davy Crockett with my daughter uh, Wind Rock with Bill <clears throat> like I said Chase has been itching to go camping too so we're gonna go haven't decided where yet I found a new place I want to go to. I don't know if I want to do a solo trip so I can do some hiking. Or, see, I can even take Chloe as far as that goes with hiking. I like this, I like this trail here, how it does this. It's a long corridor. Uh, you're right here next to the cedars. <coughs> um, but anyway, so, yeah. I've got a couple spots I want to, like I said, I want to try different this year. Try some different trails in different places. Um, the wife and daughter are going back to Biltmore this year, this spring. <clears throat> when we do, I'm going to do some hiking. Not at Biltmore, but I know when I was looking at all trails while we were there there was all kinds of different trails and stuff to do around there so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go hiking while they go look at the flowers and stuff look at here and they say deer tracks yeah here's the juncture of the trail where you go that way they don't say anything about going that way. And we're going to get out old Google Maps real quick. I don't think there's anything that way. Just look at the old map here. And it's just a road. Goes back to Cedar Forest Road. Okay. Brings you out here. Cedar Forest Road, if I'm not mistaken, that's part of Cedars 11 and State Park, which we are considered in part of the Cedars 11. <clears throat> so anyway, if I had somebody else with me, I'd venture off down there and we'd go take a look, but it's me, myself, and I. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I found our other hiker, and he just came from that way. So it's kind of funny. I like saw him walk out, and I was like, "Oh, there he is." So anyway, this is a gorgeous area in the spring. Rather dead right now in the winter. Also in 2020, I uh, plan on going back to Blade Show. <clears throat> it's uh, something there different every year. Um, met the Hidden Woodsman this year. Um, 
talk to Dave a little bit, Dave Canterbury. Um, oh wow. Uh, you know, met some other people while I was there, had a really good time. Um, so, we'll go back. We'll go back this year. Yeah, we're getting back into the flats again, Bambi. <laughs> oh, I gotta say this. Um, let me flip this up. So I can see you guys. Um, one of the trails here, not here, but uh, Sellers Farm. Um, oh, you can't see me at all. Sellers Farm. Um, I did a couple videos from there. Did a bunch of pictures and took them, put them up on all trails. And it's kind of funny. One of my pictures is the main picture on all trails for that particular hike, uh, which I think is kind of cool. Um, anyway, it's a historical hike and uh, it's worth doing. Definitely worth doing. Pretty scenery. You get to see the mound, the Indian mound, and the, the creek that runs by there. Awesome. Awesome views. All right, I'll bring it back in a little bit. Okay, one more thing before we end this video. <clears throat> Need y'all to start uh, subscribing and start sharing this video, these videos with your friends. Um, we hit 1,500 subscribers. I'm gonna do a giveaway. Haven't done one in a while. 1,500 is a good mark. Now I'm probably doing another one at 2,000. So anyway, you know when I do giveaways, I I do nice giveaways. It's always outdoor related stuff. But uh, we're almost at the end of this trail. Heading back into the woods. Got one of my new uh, Columbia Wear shirts. Dry wicking shirt on. I'm not hot. I'm not cold. Just right. Love it. But anyway, remember, we hit 1,500 on this channel. We're going to do a giveaway. And uh, so we got to get some, uh, we got to get the people on here. Please subscribe to me. Please share my stuff. And please like it. And leave comments. I like talking to you guys. So, with that said, we're going to close it out because we're almost at the end. Unless something happens at the end, then I'll bring it back. But for now, remember, as we say on this channel, be prepared.